Okay, so we have a different, something different to look at tonight. Today, well, not quite different, but unusual. It's a laptop, which isn't very different, but this is a Toshiba Dynabook 386 um, J-3 3100SX001, and this is actually from Japan. Um, well, obviously, Toshiba made, is made in Japan, but this computer itself is actually from Japan. Um, if you look, the little warning label up here is in um, Japanese. And actually, I think it might have a couple different languages on it. To be honest, I'm not really positive um, which ones, but... And here is the AC adapter for it. And unfortunately, it does not work. I've already torn it apart, and I think I know what's wrong with it. But... Let's just do a little tour of it first. We have on the right hand side contrast and brightness controls, expansion memory slot, floppy drive. On the back of it, flip the little cover open. And we have comms port and printer and floppy drive and a grounding screw. It actually is labeled as ground. Power adapter, expansion slot. And on the left hand side we have a reset button and actually the removable hard drive. Which is something you don't find too often in a 386. And here's, see if we can focus on that. And on this side. Okay, so let's open it up. I'm not sure what type of display this has. I think it has a CGA display screen. It doesn't have a video output, so I can't be sure. Um, which would kind of not make sense with a 386, but who knows. Um, the keyboard is a little odd, as in the space bar here. It's really cramped. Um, but if I zoom in on here, you can see the different characters on it. And as far as the problem with it, well, the other another thing I want to mention on here, it's actually dual battery. And here's the main battery. Here, 7.2 volts, 1700 milliamp hours. Similar in design to the um, T1600 battery. And here is the other battery, which is actually permanently, well not permanently mounted, but it is held in with two screws and it's normally not removable and this is a 1700 milliamp hour as well and those are the two batteries. I just find it odd that the one is not removable. And there's also a connection behind that battery for something. I'm not sure what. But let's remove the cover and take a look inside. Keyboard comes off first. Like I said, I had this apart before everything is uh, taken apart. But in the front here we have the backup battery, which is this big long tube here that is looks like six cells have a Fuji speaker here. 
And I thought I had everything still disconnected, but I guess I don't. But the interesting thing is all the connections are actually labeled. Oh yeah, modem, MDM, right here, modem. Um, keyboard. Power. Charge. This one is probably labeled LCD or display. Um, Sub-bat, sub-battery, I'm not sure what that would be meaning because there is another battery back here, B-RTC. So anyway, let's get to what the problem of this thing is, or primarily the problem as far as I know. There might be further problems, but this is the power supply board right here and the um, capacitors are just oozing electrolyte and as you can see here they're not too happy I mean I just had it setting on this old paper towel and you can see it's there it's just covered and the board itself is covered with the electrolyte and actually taking a look at the motherboard here these capacitors on the board don't look too happy either which I did not actually even notice these before So it looks like we're going to have to be replacing all of these. In fact, the um, there's a couple few different types of capacitors on here, brands I mean. There's two, the 10 volt 220 UF, 220 microfarad are Rubicon capacitors and they look okay. The what kind are these here? Elna E L N A appear to be the ones that are leaking. Yes, and there is one Michicon here that appears to be okay. And that one doesn't even have a manufacturer designation on it. But yeah, the Rubicon and the Nichicon seem to be okay. The Elna Long Life capacitors seem to be the ones that are all leaking. So, so much for long life, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to get some of these capacitors ordered. I'm going to uh, mark down what each of these are. There we go. Uh, Toshiba Dynabook 386 from Japan. Thanks for watching.